Hey everyone, welcome back to A-Level Lessons Online. I'm back with question 3 of our 2016 A-Level Math, H2 Math Paper 1. Um, so for this question, we're going to be looking at um, a very, actually quite an interesting question that is going to be on transformation as well as a bit of your graph sketching. Alright, so let's just uh, head right in. So the first part of the question okay, is asking you the curve of y equals to x to the power, uh, to the power of 4 is transformed onto the curve with the equation y equals to fx. So naturally, if you key this in your graphics calculator, if you already know the shape of a um, x to the power of 4 graph, you will know that it looks very, very simple. Um, it's just going to be something like a quadratic curve. So your x and your y, except they'll be like that. Okay, so it's just going to be looking like a quadratic curve. So y goes to um, fx. So the turning point on y goes to x to the power of 4 corresponds with the point uh, of the coordinates a, b. So it passes through 0, c. And given that fx, so they have given you that fx has a form of k, x minus l to the power of 4 plus m. Uh, and that a, b, and c are positive conf constants with C more than B express K in terms of the rest. So for this question, it's actually very simple. Um, it's really going back to how you guys solve your quadratic equation. So naturally, you know that in order to find the minimum point of, let's say, a given quadratic equation, for example, uh, y equals to, let's say, x minus a square plus b, you know that the minimum point, right, or the, the, the turning point, right, is going to be very simple. It's just a, b. So likewise, the same thing for this equation over here, you would just simply take out L and M as your X and Y coordinates of the turning point, and this is going to be the same as A, B. So now that you have done this, you would be able to know that L would be the same as A, and in this case, uh, sorry, that looks like litos. Okay, L is the same as A, and your M is going to be the same as B. Alright, since the question already gave you that the turning point is AB, and from this equation, the form that they gave you, right, you can already find the turning point. So that will be where your L and your um, M will be uh, equated to. So now they have given you one more piece of information, um, whereby at the coordinates of 0, C, the curve passes through um, this given point. So what you're going to do is you're going to sub when X equals to 0, when Y equals to C, you would have F0, equals to C because this is basically where the curve actually passes through right since y equals to fx correct so C would be so when f0 equals to C what happens you sub your x value in you have k times 0 minus l to the power of 4 plus m equals to C all you need to do all you need to do now is just to make k the subject of the formula so you would have k l to the power of 4 um, plus m equals to c. So you bring the m over, you get kl to the power of 4 equals to c minus m. k would just very simply be c minus m over l to the power of 4. But the question is asking you to express kl and m in terms of a, b, and c. So since at the beginning you've already found that l equals to a and m equals to b, just simply need to sub those values in. So hence, k equals to c minus m, which is the same as your b, over a to the power of 4. And that will be your answer for the first part. So it's quite a simple part that um, that, that, that just simply needs to be done. Uh, moving on to the second part, okay, by sketching the curve of y goes to fx, sketch the curve of the inverse. So state in terms of a, b, and c any point by the axis uh, uh, and any of the turning point uh, where, where, where it crosses and, and stuff. So you know to draw the curve of this diagram, right? It's actually very, very simple, right? Essentially, you already know that the rough shape of this curve is going to be like that of a quadratic curve, which is just a smiley face. So let's just get the axis in first. Let me use this over here. So let's say this is going to be my axis, all right? I've got my uh, y axis here, my x axis. And just say it the opposite. All right. So first things first, you know that the curve is going to intersect where zero c is at, right? So instantly you already know that there is going to be one point of intersection on the y-axis, and you know that the, the the minimum point is going to be a b because we've already found, or the question has already given us, that the turning point is a b. So instantly we know that there's a turning point somewhere. Here maybe it's over here. 
right? AB, um, we know that it's all positive constants as well, right? So since it's positive constant, it has to be above and has to be um, somewhere along here, right? Because it cannot be below here. This would mean that your Y value is negative, which is not possible. So that will be your minimum point. So now all you need to do is just join the curve, which you know is going to be a smiley face. Something like this. And this would be your Y equals to F x so you just need to mark out that this is a b and your intercept which is going to be zero c and you are done so now to draw the inverse right remember it's just all about looking out at the specific uh, areas right whereby uh, you have got the bigger positives the smaller negatives uh, the bigger negatives the smaller positives just look out for those areas you just need to very simply flip it the whole graph is just going to be flipped so if i have got another one over here scroll it down so firstly we look at this yellow part uh, hopefully i can shade it yes i can so if you can see on my yellow part over here right this part you notice that is heading towards a very very big positive so this is a big infinity and it's heading towards a smaller but positive uh value so we're just going to put a plus so now let us draw that part so when you draw the inverse you just need to flip it Flip it meaning, uh, excuse me, one second. All right, so flip it meaning that the big negative is now good. Uh, the big positive is now going to become a small positive. So it starts off over, let's say over here. We draw a dot first, right? And then moving towards where zero c is, right? You notice that it's still going to be the same intercept, but since y equals to one over f x now, your c value is now going to be one over c instead. Correct, because that was your original y value. So you would have a point around here that is still going to be on the y axis, but it's now 0, 1 over c. And the next part will be to convert your turning point. So now that you know that this turning point over here is like a smiley face, now you know it's going to be a sad face. So in order to convert it, you have got the same thing. It will now be a 1 over b because of the inverse. So a1 over b is going to, let's say, be somewhere around here. And lastly, towards the end part, you notice that it is going back towards a large uh, positive over here from a small positive. So now it's going to be coming from a bigger positive to a smaller positive. So all in all, the curve ends somewhere, let's say, around here. You have a very nice curve of something that goes like that okay don't mind the dot if it's not a line but it'll basically curve down here something like this okay don't mind my hand is a bit shaky but this is essentially how the curve will look like of the inverse graph so you just can mark your zero if you want to as well and this would be the answer to the last part of this question all right so a very simple question to do um if you guys are unsure on anything you can leave a question in the comment section below if not if you did learn something in this video or you did, did find this solution helpful be sure to give it a like as well as to subscribe to the channel it really does help me out a lot and if not i'll see you guys in the next part uh, which will be going through your um, APGP. Yeah, question four will be on arithmetic and geometric progression. All right, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.